The US military has finally completed its withdrawal from Afghanistan to end a brutal 20-year war. This war had started and ultimately ended the same way with the hardline Islamist Taliban in power. Despite billions of dollars spent trying to rebuild the conflict-wracked country, neither America nor the Afghan military could improve the situation 20 years later. Celebratory gunfire rang out in Kabul in the early hours of August 31st and elated senior Taliban officials hailed the event as a watershed moment. The withdrawal of the US troops came after the fraught final days of a frantic mission to evacuate tens of thousands of Americans and Afghans who had helped the US-led war effort. U.S. military flights have ended, and our troops have departed Afghanistan. A new chapter of America's engagement with Afghanistan has begun. It's one in which we will lead with our diplomacy. The military mission is over. A new diplomatic mission has begun. Last week, scores of Afghans and 13 U.S. troops were killed in a suicide attack at the Kabul airport. That attack claimed by the Islamic State's Afghan offshoot, gave edgy urgency to the risky US-led international airlift from Kabul. It also revealed the possible troubles ahead for Afghanistan as the Taliban moved to form a government and actually rule the country. The withdrawal came in before the end of August 31st the actual deadline set by U.S. President Joe Biden to call time on America's longest war. Here's our plan for the days and weeks ahead. First, we built a new team to help lead this new mission. As of today, we've suspended our diplomatic presence in Kabul and transferred our operations to Doha, Qatar, which will soon be formally notified to Congress. Given the uncertain security environment and political situation in Afghanistan, it was the prudent step to take. Second, we will continue our relentless efforts to help Americans, foreign nationals, and Afghans leave Afghanistan if they choose. We will hold the Taliban to its pledge to let people freely depart Afghanistan. The Taliban is committed to let anyone with proper documents leave the country in a safe and orderly manner. They said this privately and publicly many times. This war has ultimately claimed the lives of more than 2,400 U.S. service members and scores and scores of Afghans. Post the U.S. evacuation, Taliban spokesperson Zaviullah Mujahid said that Afghanistan had gained full independence with the U.S. withdrawal.